What's up, animators, and good morning. Uh -huh. This is a filler episode. I'm recording this at the end when most of the course has already come out because I forgot something very important. So let's not waste any time, let's hop right in. Subscribe. Okay, so we've done our texture painting. We have all the textures done. We've blended multiple materials together. We've used some color ramps and mix nodes and whatnot. But now this looks good in Blender. See, the thing is, if you want to bring this house into any other software, such as Maya, Unreal Engine, Unity, or whatever you want to do, this will not work because other softwares don't have the same nodes. So this will only work in Blender, and I'm here to show you how to transfer that into other softwares without it breaking. So the problem is that other softwares don't have the same nodes, so they can't read any of this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake all of this into an image texture and just use that as a regular texture. You can read textures in all the softwares. So what we're about to do, you have to do for every individual material that you want to transfer. So I'll just demonstrate on the house walls because it's most complex, I guess. Okay, to bake textures, we have to first add an image texture. This is what we'll be baking the textures on. I'm pretty sure you also need unwrapped UV, so I'll add a UV map node and pick the mask because it's, because it's not tiling or overlapping and just plug that in. For this image, I'm gonna click new. I'm gonna call it house base because this is going to be the base color for the house. I'm going to give it a resolution, let's say 4K and click OK. OK, now I'll also open a new window and change it into the UV editor where I will browse for house base. This is this image. We're now previewing it, what it looks like. So what you need to do is you need to have this image texture selected. You need to have your object selected and the texture you're painting has to go into the material output. Once all this is set up, we go into the render properties tab and drop down bake. And that's where the magic happens. We're now baking the base color. So let's set this up. So the bake type instead of combined has to be diffuse because the base color is also known as albedo or diffuse. So this is the diffuse map we're doing. We're baking the diffuse and the contributions here, you see direct, indirect and color. The direct and indirect refer to lighting. We don't want any lighting information. You can also bake lighting into the textures themselves. Uh, we don't want that, we want only color information. So just turn direct and indirect off completely. So we're baking the diffuse map, we're baking only the color information, and we want to bake it onto an image texture and not color attributes. So this is all set up for us. But before we press the big button, we need to lower the samples. Because technically we have to render this, this only works in the cycles render engine. So if you're using Eevee, you can't bake the texture, so you have to switch the cycles to bake and then you can come back to Eevee. But this doesn't require many samples. So if we put 4k samples we're gonna wait for ages for this to be done while the resolution doesn't matter as much let's put the max samples to something like 10 right so it's gonna be much faster and now with all this done just press bake and wait there's a little progress bar down here and as you can see even with 10 samples it's taken a while because it has to first build the entire shader before we can even start doing the calculations so this might take a while ah, it moved now we wait for this to be done Come on, it's on 100, go. It's always the last percent. Because we have the house base previewed, we can already see what the texture looks like, okay? So it has all the painted textures, all the blended materials, everything. So if you simply plug this image into the material for the house, it's gonna look the same as it does right now. So drop down image, go to save as, and I'm gonna save it on my desktop. Call it house base, it's fine. You can set the quality of the image here, you know, color depth and stuff. The default is fine, but our model has more than just the base color, it has other things. So don't worry about this image too much. We've already saved this image on our desktop, so our base is already done. So now we'll use the same image texture node to bake the next map. Instead of the fuse, we'll also be baking roughness. You can also bake normals, ambient occlusion, or you can bake all of these maps right here. So roughness, it doesn't have any special settings. The same process here, just click bake and it's gonna do it. Uh, normal, here's the settings. But remember, if you're putting this in a software that uses normal DX instead of normal GL, you have to flip the green channel, right? Because the difference is that the green channel is flipped. I don't know why it's done that way, that's just how it is. So just do a quick Google search to see what system your software uses. You even get a direct answer in this little box here. I googled Unity. So if I'm exporting this for Unity, I keep this on plus Y. This is all fun and games, but you can see that there's no option to bake metallic textures. We didn't really use metallic all this much in this project, but let's say you do. Let's say you have a custom metal map. 
What you would do in this case is you would put this onto a mission and you would take all the metallic maps. Let's say this is metallic. Let's play pretend. You would take this into a mix node. We're gonna make the same setup with mix nodes as we did with the mix shaders. Plug the first metallic here, plug the second metallic in the bottom socket, and plug the X into the factor. So we're just duplicating the same setup, except we're using the metal map instead of the principal BSDF, and we're using the mix node instead of the mix shader node. So we're just gonna mix different metallic maps together the same way with the same mask and everything. And once all that's done, I'm gonna add another principal BSDF and just plug them into emission, right? So this is our metallic information. Actually, it's the roughness map because I don't have the metal map, but let's pretend and this is our metal information. So this is the information of all of our metallic maps and I'm putting it into the emission and plug this into the output. So this is what's actually being read. And in the bake section, I'm just gonna bake emission. We will technically bake the emission map, but this emission map is actually our metal map. So you are gonna get the metal map out of this. And if you have any other custom maps that you wanna save, you would do it this way. So just build your map the same way it is right now. Just plug it into emission and bake the emission. This will save whatever you have in the emission input. So you can save any map you want. Anyway, once that's done, you should have all your custom texture maps. And in the software of choice, you just plug those in and the house is going to look the same way. You won't be able to mess with nodes and color ramps and do tweaks to it. This is just a baked texture. That's how it is. So make sure you fine tune it in Blender before you do this. But after that, you have your house transferred from Blender and it could be put into any software you ever could have wanted. So that is it. That's what this filler is all about. Well, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in two days on the final episode of the course. Stay sharp!